In the automotive world, there is one platform that showcases engineering probably the best, and that is Formula One. Behind me, there are 10 Canadian engineering students, and by the end of this contest, one of them is going to be lucky enough to work on a Formula One team. Welcome to the Infinity Engineering Academy. Well, when we started Infinity Engineering Academy, we wanted to deliver this message about the brand being human-focused and giving an opportunity to young talents, and this is what we're doing. But then, because the project is growing year after year, we realized that the complexity of the communication behind the project is, is grown as well. So we contribute a lot, for instance, on the diversity of the organization, both in Infinity and in Renault Formula One team. Uh, we recruit every year seven engineers, and only one comes from Europe, which is usually where the motorsport industry recruits uh, talents. The other six come from Canada, like today, uh, US, Mexico, China, Middle East, and Asia Pacific. So diversity has become something very important. In each region, the top 10 are selected from a third party specializing in engineering. The 10 Canadian candidates are flown from all over the country to Montreal where they'll have a chance of their lifetime. Of course, with such a huge talent pool, you're going to attract the best of the best. But it's not just engineering skills that matter in this contest. Uh, in fact, what we do, we organize a two days event where these 10 finalists come and we test them from different point of view. Not only the, the technical skills, but soft skills a lot. On the first day, the candidates go through various tests, team tasks, and grueling interviews. Even though it looks like fun, I'm not sure I could handle this type of pressure. I get to talk to last year's winner to get a little insight as what's going through their minds right now. So right now, the, the new finalists this year from Canada, they, I'm sure their minds are going a mile a minute trying to make sure they remember every single formula from, from their studies and making sure they don't you know, put a foot in the wrong direction and really trying to showcase what, what they have. So the best way to prepare for this is as far in advance as you can. And so it, it doesn't just start you know, a month before, it starts years before. So it's you know, what you've done for your internships, it's what you're, you're doing in school and really taking all of that knowledge because it's such, it's such a broad uh, challenge here that they're all facing that they really have to draw on a lot of different aspects, you know, both the technical and interpersonal aspects of their life. I am here working with Infinity to help them select candidates for the academy using sort of what we know about decision science um, based on research about how people make decisions and ways that they fail at making decisions, particularly when they work with other people, right? When they work in teams, when they work in groups. One of the things that we have done is we have designed uh, a task for uh, the Academy Finals based on a classroom exercise that we often use in uh, management classes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put this challenge to them and observe how they go about making the decision. We're actually less interested in what they decide than in the process they follow, right? The questions they ask, uh, how analytical their approach is, uh, how they use evidence to support their points. At the end of day one, the scores are tabulated and the judges narrow the field down to three who will go on to the finals. On day two, the final three test their skills at the Montreal Grand Prix with a tire compound challenge where they experience a different type of pressure as they compete in front of the very team they may be working for and in front of thousands of racing fans. In the final challenge, I feel like I even get to be part of the process. The students face auto and non-automotive questions from the media and their answers and thought processes are analyzed. With all the data compiled, the judges discuss who they think would be the right fit for the team in the upcoming season. 
This year, the winner is Chase Peltier from the University of Ontario's Institute of Technology. Uh, definitely there were some nerves uh, throughout, but uh, definitely a confidence, um, which was a very critical thing that, that remained constant over the, the course of the challenges. Um, the Academy did a really good job of organizing the different challenges and, and evaluating the very different um, aspects of engineering that are important and uh, make up a very good engineer. So I'm uh, just really excited and uh, happy to have won. One word to describe it would be excitement. I'm really excited to uh, you know, continue my, my career path in, in motorsports and it's really exciting to be part of Randall Sport Formula One and also Infinity um, as a, a global leader in, in automotive engineering. Although there is only one winner, congratulations to all the chosen candidates who can hold their head high knowing that just making it to this point is a jump start in their engineering careers and a huge victory in itself. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, and if you want to see more everyday reviews, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. <laughs>